2 Samuel chapter 24. Man, oh man, what a complicated, confusing, and rich passage of Scripture it is there. It begins to tell a story about one of our favorite characters of the Bible, King David. But it's now nearing the end of King David's life. And as King David is literally lying on his deathbed, looking down the, 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 the hallways of time, knowing that a transition is about to occur, both for him as a man and for the nation of Israel as a kingdom, he sends out his commanders to go and number the armies of Israel. It's a very confusing passage of Scripture, complicated passage of Scripture, because it seems like a normal thing to do. We count what matters. He wanted to know his military might. He wanted to know his, his strength of, of resources. He wanted to know where his strongholds were. Seems very natural to want to know those things and to have that information. Then the next thing we read is God begins to break out in judgment, not only against David, but he begins to break out in judgment against the nation. If you're anything like me, that leaves me scratching my head like, you know, God, what did David do? Well, all of a the sudden, there in that passage in 2 Samuel 24, a prophet comes and he says, here's the deal. Basically, David, God has said, you've moved your trust to numbers. You've moved your faith to military might. David, do you not understand? I alone have kept this nation. I alone have provided your security, your safety. I alone have taken this nation forward and built it from not a nation to a great nation. And David, because your faith and your trust has moved to numbers and the strength of men and the number of your military chariots and horses, judgment's coming to you today. Now, listen, I understand today we live in a new covenant. We live in a New Testament grace era where God is about redeeming and saving. I'm not in any way saying that God's judgment is breaking out against you or breaking out against me. But what I am saying is there's a very powerful lesson there. It's a powerful lesson for me right now in my life. Maybe it is for you. Maybe you've mistakenly begin to put your trust in the number of the bank account. Maybe you've begun to mistakenly put your trust in what you have in a 401k or what you have in cryptocurrency or what you have in the stock market or what you have in your 401k or your retirement. I want to tell you today, my friends, it's God who's given you everything that you have. It's God that's blessed you, walked you along this road, and your faith has to remain anchored and strong in Him. He started you on this journey. He's going to finish you on this journey. Don't make the mistake of David and begin to trust in numbers. Put your trust and your faith in God. He's going to see you through. Hey, thanks so much for watching. I trust you were inspired. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also click the notification bell. That way you don't miss a single upload of content that we put your way. Also, for those of you wishing to further support the ministry of Oaks Church, you'll find a giving link in the description of this video and you can also visit our website, oakschurch.cc. Click the Give tab. It's your giving that makes this ministry possible. We thank you so much for it and we look forward to connecting with you soon.